Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Hallelujah. Psalm 56. Have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all the day long. Truly, there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do me evil. They band together. They lie and wait. They spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. Shall they es escape despite their wickedness? O oh God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentation. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for my God is on my side. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings, for you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. A reading from the Christian writings taken from the Revelation to John. Then I looked, and there was a lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they sing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. These follow the lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from humankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found. They are blameless. Then I saw another angel flying in mid heaven with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory. For the hour his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Then another angel, a second, followed, saying, Fallen, fallen, as Babylon the great. She has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then another angel, a third, followed them, crying with a loud voice, those who worship the beast and its image and receive a mark on their foreheads or on their hands, they will also drink the wine of God's wrath, poured unmixed into the cup of his anger, and they will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image, and for anyone who receives the mark of its name. Here it is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and hold fast to the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, 
They will rest from their labors, for their deeds followed them. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old to save us from your enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn. Bring in the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. for the communion of faith in your church, merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.